Hello, my Forex family. This is Sydney Guajardo coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. And we are the Trading Places. All right, first deal today. Well, since lunch, uh, I took dollar yen long, Aussie dollar yen. So let's see how that works out. Sure work out okay. Been waking, waiting for it all day. It's going with the trend. Took it on the four hour the four hour candle so we are got a lot of momentum behind us and i took that trade at 76.075 was that on the list this morning yes it was took it on a strong buy so what trades did i take today all right, let's take a look. Okay, pound, yen. I took pound, yen. Um, dollar, Swiss. Euro, dollar, one, two, three times. US dollar, yen. U.S. dollar yen was not on the list, but I took it. Mm, that's oh, you know what? That dollar oh, you know what? Let me see NZDJPY, and I took that one. On a, yeah, it's, I, I took that one on a mistake. Anyway, so I made a um, little over half a percent today on the account. So that uh, that really pays the money if I do that every single day. So it'll end, up, it'll end up being like 10%, 12% on the account, which is doubling the account every year, which when you talk about 15 other traders that, that are doing the same thing, plus it's $300 million. It's a lot of money. One second. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get down to business. You guys can see my screen. I think Euro dollar is still a strong mover, but let me erase these lines and let me show you where to take the trade. I like I like putting the horizontal line first because it lets me put it right razor sharp right there. And I think there's support and resistance right there. Okay, so when it breaks this line, now I've got the horizontal ray. And it's right there. 117.975. I don't want you guys to take that long. So if it breaks 117.975, take it long. It may bounce. It may test that line. Um... It's tested here and gone long. It's tested here and gone long. And it's broken through it here back in... Uh, what date is this? Vertical line. Back uh, September 9th at 4 o'clock. It bounced along right there. So it could take off again. So just be aware of that. Next trade. Next, you know what? Let's take. Um, I'm gonna put Euro Dollar USD long again, and I'm, I didn't even take those notes. What was it? One seventeen nine seven five. The next one is um, Dollar Yen. It didn't. It didn't do anything today. So one hundred five eight hundred. One oh five eight hundred. So after that, of course, and it's testing it right now. Um, whoa, shit! I'm down eight pips on this pair of wood here. That's not a good thing. All right, let's go to euro dollar. 
it'll come back around okay so let's erase these lines let's put up another one and what number is that so you go to horizontal ray the horizontal ray you could put your line right on it and it blacks out when you're right on the money and it'll give you a number one two five seven fifteen and that's also long one two four seven fifteen this is euro yen long I'll give you guys three more Aussie dollar nothing there unless it gets to one oh uh seventy two zero ninety why did this freak out oh you know what top of the hour that's what it is one second here. I didn't even see any support and resistance on that thing. Anyway, so pound dollar is at one three zero eight one three zero zero eight zero. So when it goes north of that, take the trade. Dollar Swiss. This could continue to go short. It didn't move very much today. Um, I got out at uh, 91,518. But take the trade dollar Swiss at 91,465. I want you guys to take it south. Okay. I'll do about three more pound Swiss. Really don't see anything there. It's in a range. Aussie dollar yen. I took that north at um, seven five zero seven five, and I'm I'm losing eight pips right now. It kind of retraced on me here, but it's going to be a good one. It's going to continue to move north. So uh, let's go to the next one. Cad yen. Uh, same thing on this one. Let's just move these lines here. Right there. Let's put a horizontal edge. It's it's testing that line. That's a pretty good resistance line. So it's seventy nine eight ten. Take it long, or just watch. It may bounce. So just be careful. That's not a bounce. That's just a retracement. Heck, it could be bouncing. That's a two hundred forty minute candle. Just watch that there. Okay. Swiss yen. It hasn't moved much, so let's re-do uh, those lines. Let's do a new one. So take this trade long. At 115.595. You got about seven more pips before that goes away. By the way, my Aussie dollar yen is coming back. It's only down seven pips now, so it's moving. Um, Euro Aussie dollar. All right, it bounced. I'm not interested in this trade until it comes back short again at 163.63070. I think it's retracing. It's going to come back down. This red indicate this red arrow may be an indicator that that it may be coming back down. So, you got a pretty good support line right or resistance line right here. Right there, it bounced off of it. So, if it goes through it, it may just keep going. It, but it's got to break this trend, this trend line here. And you're about to break it right there. When it breaks this structure, I mean, it could pierce through it and it usually comes down. But if it actually breaks structure, it's the start of a new trend. But you've got a little bit of, to think about there, so I'd, I'd look at that. Euro pound, 
Uh, it's kind of in a range here. Looks like it's going up a little bit. It really hasn't broken structure too much. Well, I broke structure there. And it tipped this line. It may come back down to hit the top of this Bollinger Band and come down. So just it's um, kind of a crapshoot there. I don't like this trade. Let's go to pound yen. This one looks good. Let's erase these lines. I like it a lot. One three seven four two five. Just take the oh man, really. I hate crooked arrows. I like I just want to go straight up right there. Looks good. NZDJPY. Let's erase this. Put new lines. Give it a little fresh up, freshen up here. And what the heck's going on? Seven zero three six five. When it pierces it, break. Take it long. You know, it it, ha it may have the tendency of bouncing, but every time it came from the zero line this side to go up, it pierced it. It pierced it there. It pierced it to come down, but it's going to test that. So I would take it short. I mean, I would take it long. I'm sorry. Let's look at a couple more. Here's another one. Take it long. NZD USD. So that's what I would do. One more. Dollar CAD. Let's erase these lines. There's definitely a trend line going down. So what's this right here? Right. Boom. 132.535. Then I put my line right on there. Guys, y'all can do this very easy. Just go with the trend. And then use these indicators too. They're pretty and then you got these signals here. You got everything to make money. One more. Aussie Dollar CAD. I don't like this trade. Well, I do like it if it let's erase these lines. And let's go with the um, if it comes down here. Which this could happen tonight. It's definitely in a See, it's hard because it's in a range. You don't know which way it's going to go, but um, it's definitely one angle to look at. It's always the angle of the dangle, right? But that's 94, 980. Let's look at one more. Aussie dollar NTD. Looks like it's going up. There's our line right there. And what's our number? 108.505. There you go. That's about it for today, guys. We probably went over, I don't know, 16, 17 trades. But um, be careful here. This also looks like a double top, but it kind of bounced here. Double tops come all the way down. Could be a triple top. Who knows? Forex does what the hell it wants anyway, right? But anyway, all right, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same channel. I uh, love the one you're with, guys. It's a weird world out there. Treat your neighbor like you do your family. Or is that the other way around? Treat your family like you do your neighbor. A lot of the times, you know, we don't even know our neighbor's name, and we...